I'm Lara Shannon and day to day I guess I'm sitting around talking about environmental issues and conservation. I um, work for many environment groups trying to raise funds and awareness uh, about the issues going on around the world but I'm always stuck behind the desk in the city. Well I guess I wanted to see firsthand you know what it is that I'm trying to fight for. I've been doing it so long and I, sometimes you lose sight of what it is you're trying to achieve so seeing the orangutans and, and seeing firsthand how our money and awareness can help save them is why I came. I'm kind of looking forward to finally seeing them in the wild and being part of that. And I guess I'm just not at all looking forward to the other animals that we might encounter, like the leeches. Albuquerque, New Mexico, USA, came halfway around the world to see the beautiful forest of Borneo. I'm a construction worker. Um, I'm here on this journey to help raise critical funds for the orangutans and the conservation of their area. When I heard about the Trans Borneo Challenge, I knew that this was something that I had to sign up for. Um, so this big guy can't be let out at all um, because he needs a rainforest home to go to and of course there's no way to put him. Yeah, it makes you realise how crazy the world is when you see beautiful creatures who are just like us, living like this. As we drove through town after town today, all we could see was palm oil plantations or destruction like this. But stopping palm oil isn't going to help save the orangutan. So every time I try and pull myself up, it pulls it more, which means I can't breathe. You really need to breathe right about now. <laughs> All of a sudden this flash flooding was coming down, as you can see now. If you have a look over here, this is where we were sleeping, where our camp was, which is all underwater now. We had about 30 seconds to grab our gear and get to higher ground. It's pretty frightening. We've got the situation we're faced with now with this flash flooding and trying to get ourselves and all our equipment across the river. I've got to look at the methods about how we think we can get across, uh, assess those and, and consider when, when I deem it safe then we'll, we'll go across. They're safe here in the National Park, which is currently being protected and patrolled by wildlife protection units. But of course the big problem that right through Indonesia is deforestation and the constant reduction of, of suitable habitat. 